Alright, so um, hi everyone. Welcome back to the um, personality psychology course. So today we're going to uh, learn something very new. So it's it is still uh, from the trait perspective, but it has some kind of uh, a, a spark of uniqueness uh, from itself, and it also explains why human could um, behave in such malevolent ways but and in also to some extent it also uh, explains why people could show completely different behavior uh, sometimes we could be very manipulative very malevolent but at some other points in our life we could be extremely altruistic we could be very kind to others and this pers this uh, very specific personality theory would give you those uh, exact explanation why people behave in such ways uh, so this theory basically comes from the thought that um, we might have uh, a darker side of ourselves and it is not not always pathological yeah because sometimes we need to do uh, a series of bad behavior in order to survive so basically dark trait yeah uh, dark traits could exhibit the ways we um, we represent ourselves uh, even though it's bad behavior even though it would manifest it in a manipulative and um, and perhaps uh, reflects our unrealistic uh, views about our uh, our own abilities and um, but it is something that we need to do in order to survive uh, the social challenge and also helps us to navigate uh, our daily lives so this is not pathological at all so you need to um, uh, basically distinguish yeah differentiate between uh, the dark triad personality that we're going to discuss uh, later with um, personality disorder yeah so it's completely different it's a more like the mild version of pathological um, tendency I would say so um, so uh, these two separate theories, yeah, it's actually uh, the, the light triad is uh, is a critic to the dark triad, <clears throat> a more popular dark triad. So dark triad um, personality theory uh, comes for, uh, came first, and then the light triad came after the uh, rise popularity of the dark triad uh, personality theory. So basically, <clears throat> the basic as assumption of this theory um, says that well uh, a human a human being would uh, have uh, a light and also the dark side i think that's completely fair but the um but the intensity of these both sides would vary between humans so uh, well basically sometimes we have more tendency to behave in in a more um, negative ways or negative lights but some of us or some others would uh, show completely different patterns so basically um, in the past uh, 15 years uh, personality psychologists try to formulate uh, these dark traits yes yeah, so be because the dark triad uh, came uh, came first it came first but then the light triad came after the rise popularity of the dark triad theory so um, a lot of research has uh, have been conducted to uh, formulate uh, and also to determine or identify uh, some dark traits that is uh, that are associated with uh, the worst <laughs> behavior, the worst possible um, behaviors that human that most human uh, usually do, uh, and these behaviors uh, sometimes are associated with ethically morally and socially aversive beliefs also behaviors and these behaviors uh, uh, are often directed to harm people directed to manipulate people but also it helps us to again to navigate a social challenge around us and there is also emerging consensus that these dark core or the heart of the darkness of the human would uh, consist of an antagonistic social strategy again yeah this is this help this is helpful sometimes to uh, to to uh, to help us to navigate 
and also to gain or reach a social challenge, even though in in a bad ways, not in in undesirable or unethically or un, uh, unethically uh, speaking, I would say, and it involves interpersonal manipulation and also callous behavior. So dark traits basically posits of these two uh, uh, two types of behavior. So the first one it involves manipulating other people, and it also exhibits uh, a series of behavior that represent the worst uh, possible ways that human being can uh, can do. <laughs> yeah. So the dark type of personality uh, was uh, um, coined by or was initiated by two personality psychologists from uh, Canada, and. Um, Delroy Paulus and also Kevin William uh, formulate uh, these theories saying that uh, so basically the uh, the darker core personal uh, the darker core of human personality consists of three different uh, dimension three different factors so the first one is narcissism which exhibits um, extreme sh uh, selfishness and also an inflated inflated sense of uh, one's abilities and also talent. So basically, this posits um, uh, our unrealistic views or grandiose feelings about ourselves. So and this also um, uh, reflects the need, yeah, the need of a human being for admiration and also attention. And also, the second dimension is Machiavellianism. I'm, I'm not sure whether you are familiar with Niccolo Machiavelli. So this uh, exact dimension is actually in, was ex, was actually inspired by this famous uh, famous Italian philosopher that suggested you we basically need to do everything that we need to do in order to achieve something. So basically, um, Machiavellianism is exactly what. Niccolo Machiavelli has suggest, uh, had suggested uh, back then uh, in order to gain power, in order to gain influence over others, then we need to do whatever necessary to achieve uh, that aims. Yeah, So Machiavellianism uh, reflects the need to manipulate others in order to gain, in order our personal gain, and it is characterized by cunning, deceit, and also unscrupulous behavior. So, uh, well, we also need this behavior as well, even though um, not to the high intensity, but some, uh, but most human, most human beings would, uh, would exhibit this behavior. So, well, we, uh, as a part of our social goals, uh, we need to, um, um, we need to gain as many as we could, and also uh, with uh, a very uh, the 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 fewest uh, effort possible. So the 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 fast way, uh, the 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 quick way to gain uh, social goals, to gain any goals that we need to reach, then the easy way is to manipulate people and to ask them to do whatever we whatever we want them to do, in order to gain those uh, achievement or gain those aims. So this uh, exact dimension uh, would speak about this. And the last uh, dimension or the last factor of the dark type personality is psychopathy. And psychopathy would exhibit the uh, the psychopathic tendency. It's to some point it could be considered normal, but when it is when it moves to a more uh, higher intensity, it would guarantee a, a mental disorder diagnosis. So even though in this, uh, when we speak about uh, the doctor personality, again, this is extremely normal. There is nothing when the, um, normal in a way that uh, scientifically it does not uh, fall under uh, mental illness diagnosis, but socially this is undesirable behavior, but it is not enough or not appropriate to uh, to give any psychological diagnostic uh, uh, for these series of behavior. Yeah, so psychopathy tendency would convey um, some characteristics, some um, um, some uh, uh, traits, I would say. 
that um, that reflects the callousness and also insensitive, being egocentric, antisocial, and our needs to take advantage of other people, sometimes using great charm and also of uh, violence. And it often, uh, it is often showed in uh, in those who are very close to criminal activities. Yeah, so it is guarantee that uh, this it, this also sometimes would um, uh, would reflect that these three the these uh, three um, oh sorry yeah so those three dimension is not uh, psycho. It, it is not uh, a, it's not enough to guarantee a diagnosis but again it is socially undesirable so sometimes uh, those three dimensions would be clearer or strong uh, or um, found in a stronger intensity to those who are close to criminal activity so the first dimension is Machiavellianism so it uh, it also uh, means that these people uh, that those who has high score in Machiavellianism uh, are manipulative mostly and the and the creator so uh, Kevin Williams and also uh, uh, Roy Paulhus he they um, proposed uh, this series of ca uh, characters of traits that reflects Machiavellianism from a novel a novel yes a selection statement from and sometimes as uh, and also a, a series of selection uh, statements from uh, Machiavelli original book the prince yeah and and also these um, uh, this is also not uh, this is actually not uh, not originated uh, originally from uh, from the creator of the dozen or dark triad uh, but it, but they uh, sourced, yeah, sourced this uh, explanation about Machiavellianism from other people, yeah, from other uh, psychologists. And the psychologist Richard Christie, they, uh, he was uh, selecting some statements, yeah, from um, from the original Machiavelli books that reflects a character of uh, a character of manipulation, yeah, uh, the need of uh, the need to manipulate other people in order to gain personal goals and this is normal yeah it's a normal personality so there's no there's nothing um nothing uh, pathological at all about this uh, about this dimension and also for the research uh, gave evidence that those who agreed with these series of statements uh, from the machiavellianism scale they were more likely to behave in occult and manipulative ways even both in laboratory and also in the real world studies so which means that um these um uh, uh, the the way psychologists uh due to measure this uh, dimension is helpful to understand even the real world behavior and the second dimension is narcissism i believe that you have that you might have been familiar with this uh with this term yeah even though in some diagnostic manual they mention that narcissism is um, is a, a personality disorder, if I'm not mistaken, it's a narcissistic personality disorder. Uh, there's a kind, there is a sub diagnosis about this uh, series of behavior, but um, but most personality psychologists would accept that there is a degree of normality yeah, the degree of normality about narcissism so it's not always uh, guarantee a diagnosis of pathology of, 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 of psychological uh, pathology um, but uh, there is a subclinical or normal narcissism yeah. <laughs> and this is was uh, this was from uh, this was originally from Again, other psychologists that inspired uh, Paul, Paul, uh, Roy Paulus and also Kevin William. And this was from uh, Raskin and Halls. And uh, they were, they, they tried to deviate, they tried to differentiate between the normal narcissism and also the pathological narcissism. Um, and uh, some of the indicators, yeah, that it, uh, that signify 
uh, people with higher personal uh, higher narcissism uh, including grandiosity uh, and also the feeling of entitlement the feeling of dominance and also the feeling of that they are superior than other uh, than others yeah and those four uh, indicators were reflected in the scale that the that that the personality psychologists use to measure this dimension and it it is well supported by the data so you can also try to um to me uh, to self assess yourself whether you have this dimension or not and i'll i'll give you uh, the link uh, to the personality test so you can try uh, on the first hand yeah um uh, so you have this first hand experience about this uh, uh, this dark tribe theory and the last uh, dimension of this uh, theory is psychopathy and of course a hell not a healthy dose but a good dose of psychopathy is different from the pathological one yeah so those who has higher intensity of uh, of psychopathy would um, would fall under schizophrenia diagnosis so yeah and there is a mild version and normal version of uh, of, uh, of of schizophrenia i would say um and uh, the psychopathy uh, the subclinical version of psychopathy um uh, reflects a high degree of impulsivity which means that uh, these people who has high tendency of psychopathy would behave uh, would react yeah would react more carelessly and uh, and faster and quickly to any stimulus that uh, stimulus that come that ca uh, that comes to to them so basically they would uh, respond uh, carelessly yes yeah, so <laughs> carelessly and too quickly without uh, having second thought when uh, without having second thought when responding to uh, to any stimulus that comes to them and these the high uh, impulsivity uh, characteristics uh, combined with thrill seeking when they perform bad behavior and they also typically have very low empathy to other people and higher degree of anxiety uh, and they so that they would be more anxious to those who has lower score of psychopathy and the self report of psychopathy was firstly yeah for, was firstly created from uh, created by again other psychologists not uh, Kevin Williams and also Roy Paulhus but uh, William and Paulhus uh, refined uh, the scale along with uh, psychopathy uh, along with narcissism and Machiavelli and so that they made a new scale yeah, to measure to, to assess those three dimensions that they called a dirty dozen uh, the triad scale and I'll give you the link after this and um, it was later validated in non-normal, uh, in non-criminal samples. So in a normal uh, common people, and it was a uh, good scale. Yeah, it 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 was proven and supported by the data that the scale was powerful enough to measure this tendency even in a normal popula in no in a normal population. And also higher degree of uh, psychopathy. So those who uh, use a uh, self-report psychopathy scale uh, it is uh, well predict and a series of antisocial behavior even in a in a criminal and non-criminal uh, population so this is the facial appearance yeah facial appearance of dark tribe traits it consists of three dimensions and also in this uh, picture also denotes uh, three different keywords of each dimensions to help you to at least to help you uh, understand uh, the difference between those three dimensions and how it is related with other personality construct yes yeah, so this is the most interesting part because uh, maybe you may have learned uh, from the previous uh, from the last uh, week's meeting that uh, big five personality theory uh, is more widely accepted yeah more widely accepted theory among uh, personality psychologists and it is important to us to understand a newer theory uh, and how it is related with the consisting widely accepted theory so basically um the dark triad is negatively associated with 
very specific dimension in the big five theory, in the five factor model, uh, which is agreeableness dimension. And this is very understandable because agreeableness uh, reflects, uh, reflects our orientation towards other people. So, uh, of course, it would be um, very uh, logical that agreeableness would uh, correlate negative negatively with uh, ductrite dimensions. And even yeah, ductrite dimension strongly inversely correlated with uh, hexaco honesty humility. Yeah, this is again, this is a very common sense. And uh, it is well supported by the data that those two traits are completely inverse, completely uh, contradictory. Yeah, in uh, this honesty humility, I've I have explained to you last week that it consists of uh, facets of sincerity, fairness. Well, basically, it's a it's a good virtue. So this is why it is strongly negatively correlated with uh, the, uh, the dark trait traits. And if you'd like to try, yeah, if you'd like to try the test, uh, I have given you the link and I also uh, post the link to the Google Classroom so you can try and also you can also reflect on the on the result of the test, yeah, whether it uh, it capture uh, the other side of your personality and it would help you to understand yourself better. So that is it for the dark triad. I'll going to I'll be, I'm going to uh, proceed to the, the, to the next uh, theory that, which is the criticism, is a part of the criticism of the, of the dark triad. So, so I'll see you in the next video.